Good morning from the 24th park of our 2023 USA road trip. Today we're here at Six Flags America in Maryland. We've got eight coasts at this park, so we're going to try and get as much in as we can. Yeah, the storm may be coming in later on, so we'll see what happens. We had a massive storm last night. You can see that footage over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, but you know what? We're just grateful that we're safe and this park's open today. And uh, yeah, first time visit for the both of us here, and we're looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, but it's another hot one today. <laughs> yeah, really humid. But we'll make our way into the park. It opened here in 1982. And so, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing a new park um, for the first time. And I can't believe it. This is our penultimate park of the trip, uh, part number 24. Let's go make our way in to Six Flags America. And here's a look at the entrance to the park. And yeah, park hours today are 11 a.m. through until 7. And the park gates have just opened, and we've got a very nice entrance street just here. All the buildings, you've got the big bell just over there. Very nice music playing around here too, and of course all the US flags. We are here at Six Flags America after all. I just can't believe we're nearly at the end of this epic trip. We've got one more park left coming up tomorrow, and that's Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. Yeah, this is very nice down here, all these buildings, carriage repairs. You know me, I like all the smaller details. We've got a fountain just down here too with some statues, very nice. So we've made our way all the way to the back of the park. Obviously first time here, so I'm not too sure on the layout. And yeah, we thought we'll come right down to Superman Ride of Steel. Year 2000 this ride opened, Intamin Mega Coaster. And yeah, they've got a very similar ride to this at Six Flags New England, which I really enjoyed. So that we'll come down here, get it in first, just in case the storm comes in. However, unfortunately, there's a sign out the front saying the attraction is temporarily closed. The good news is the shop's open and there is some staff around. So I'm thinking maybe it's just not opened yet for the day, uh, having some issues this morning, but we'll uh, see what happens, we'll find out. So we just spoke with a member of staff. She said that she doesn't think it's going to be opening yet and doesn't really know later on. And uh, yeah, you've got Batwing down there, the Vacoma Flying Dutchman. That doesn't open until 12, so we'll I don't see what know happens. What's going on. No, I mean, you think with the storm coming in, it'd be like, yeah, let's just get things open. But uh, yeah, it is a very quiet day. Um, so yeah, we'll go and head on to something else instead and come back. But I really hope we get that because that's the big draw for this park. And even though it's very quiet, I don't think it'll be for staffing issues because yeah, we've walked past loads of flat rides that are all in operation and yeah, staffed up. So yeah, it's probably got technical problems. So let's just hope they can get that issue sorted out. Well, we've got Joker's Jinx just over here, which is a Premier Rides LIM launch coaster with a top speed of 60 miles an hour. This is operational. Yeah, we've just seen it testing around the corner. I just don't think there's anybody here yet, but yeah, it is open. So yeah, let's go and have a ride on this. Well, we're the only ones on the train there on Joker's Jinx. And yeah, I tell you what, I do enjoy them Premier Rides LAM launch coasters. 
four inversions on there as well. It was pretty smooth, really, wasn't it? That, that wasn't too bad. I didn't even realize you went upside down four times either. Yeah, I mean, just with the lap bars on there. That's crazy, but the brakes at the end was very sharp. Yeah, that was the roughest part, really, yeah, just the it brakes. Was. It was quite enjoyable, that was. Yeah, it was. I mean, normally them sort of rides are hidden in a big show building, like Flight of Fear, oh, for example. I like the indoor coast as well. That was good fun. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, I think it would be better if it was all inside. However, it's painted up nicely, causing the Joker's colours just there as well. So yeah, this is the Gotham City themed area of the park. It's absolutely deserted here, it really is. There's a lot of staff, so it's clear that they've not got staffing issues. But yeah, look at this, like it is crazy. And the thing is, a lot of the food's open as well. Is it maybe just too hot for people? There was quite a few at the entrance, but they have also got Hurricane Harbour, which is the water park here. I think most people were going there, weren't they? Yeah, everyone had like swim gear and stuff, it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, it is really hot. It might not be later on though. <laughs> Nice view just here, walking over the train tracks. We've got the wooden coaster here on the right. And up next, Firebird. You can see it just going up the lift hill. Really nicely painted up. It was relocated from Six Flags Great America here to Six Flags America in 2012. That's a bit confusing, isn't it? And uh, yeah, it actually used to be a stand-up coaster as well. And a few years ago, it got changed and they put the flawless trains on here. Probably a good decision, in my opinion, because as much as I do enjoy how unique a stand-up coaster is, and you don't see loads of them, with this being a smaller ride and looking at some of the inversions and profiling, probably a good idea that they changed this into a flawless. But yeah, it's really nicely presented. Look at this. Love the track colour with the orange and red. And you've got some rock work there behind it too. I don't think that's for this. It looks like that's the wooden coast that kind of drops down into that. That's the beauty of always visiting parks for the first time. And of course, yeah, every park's been new for Charlotte, all of them. But yeah, for me, I've done 10 new parks this trip, which has been amazing. And of course, check out the playlist if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, let's go and see how this rides. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride on Firebird. See you when you get back. Bye. to the back row there of Firebird and we'll talk more about the experience in just a moment. Firstly, I just wanted to show you this weird support here. Look at this, very unusual for a B&M coaster. Obviously, it's like that because of the station design here. But yeah, it goes over the top. I think that's really quirky. What very interesting support. And yeah, in terms of our ride there on Firebird, just a loop and a quarter screw on there, total of two inversions. It looks really pretty, but yeah, it wasn't amazing to ride. It was a little bit of a headbanger going around that layer. Yeah, it was a bit rattly. I can't imagine it was very good as a stand-up coaster, that one either, to be honest. Yeah, it was okay, nothing spectacular. One of the weaker B&M coasters for me. Uh, but still, I'm glad that they didn't rip it out. Uh, they've converted it into a flawless. It looks the part, adds a bit of capacity to the park. But yeah, it just didn't really do a lot. It was very forced, as I thought, yeah, as well. Yeah, I think there was only a few sections where it's a little bit forceful, but not a lot. Yeah, not that much going on there. But yeah, it was okay. But yeah. Yeah, nothing fantastic, just a mediocre B&M that one. 
Up next then, we're going to have our ride over here on Roar. Do you like how I said that for you? Do you want me to do it again? Roar. This is a 1999 GCI wooden coaster with an awesome sign just here. I like how they even put the little steps in there so you can go and have a photo with it. It could do with a bit of TLC that. Uh, I think that's the key to this park so far from what we've seen. It does look very dated and run down in a lot of areas. Out of all the parks we've done, this probably looks in the worst condition, doesn't it, it here? It really needs a bit of TLC. Yeah, and we've only been here like an hour and just kind of walking around. Um, yeah, let's go and give Roar a go, see how this GCI rides. It's an older one, so we'll see. If that means you guys are not to live in the gym right tomorrow, so we can get back. If you can get back, bye. I tell you what, our ride on Raw made me roar whilst I was going round. It was a bit uncomfortable, that was. Oh, I really didn't enjoy that. The whole train was just rattling and vibrating. I was having to brace myself the whole <laughs> way around. Yeah, it wasn't great, that one. I mean, a wooden coaster, you want a bit of rattle. You know, you don't want it to be too smooth. But yeah, it was a bit too uh, OTT, that was on there. What's quite interesting is the ride itself was built um, by GCI, Great Coasters International. They built some amazing coasters now. But it doesn't run their trains on there. It's got PTCs. I do like PTC trains, but uh, yeah, I don't think that was riding very well at all. To me, it looks like maybe it's not had the wood replacement like it probably should have done to keep it riding pretty smooth. Um, but yeah, it was all right, that was, but I wouldn't want to go on it again. It rode a bit like Guazi used to at Busch Gardens Tampa, of course, before it closed uh, and then got turned into Iron Guazi, the RMC. Uh, it rode a little bit like that. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't fantastic, that one. The layout was quite long. It had a 200-foot long tunnel, which was quite cool. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't up to much. So just walking down the exit ramp and we spotted this. So yeah, some of the wood down there on the floor. So it's clearly had a bit of track replacement at some point. You know, they just left the old bits and the sawn off bits just down there on the floor instead of tidying them away. Look at all this corn just here. It's like Halloween already. There we go. Cool. I wanted to do a corn maze to it. <laughs> got a lot of flat rides throughout the park, which is good to see. Pirates Flight just there. We got a drop tower from Intamin over there. So I'll give that a go. It's open. And yeah, also right next to it, you got one of them Larson Loops, which is running round too. I am not liking the look of those black clouds up there. It was so sunny like still 20 minutes ago. It looks like it could be coming in. So we'll see what happens. Our day could come to an abrupt end, but we will see. Obviously, we're going to stay at the park no matter what, unless they close. But uh, yeah, a lot of the time, parks will close if the weather comes in bad here in America. Let's have some food. Here's a look inside the food court. Blimey, I think my old school dinner canteen was uh, nicer than this. <laughs> Right, look at this in here, very dated, like got this the ceiling kind of falling down over there. But still the food looks good, that's the thing, you know what you're getting when you've done like Six Flags, Cedar Fair Park, you know what you're getting. This was $13 um, with discount, gone for the cheese pizza with the garlic knots just there. All of a sudden it's got very busy here in the food court, an announcement played, and yeah, all rides are closed due to a storm right above us. <laughs> we got three coasters in though. We ate all at the right time as well. Look at the queue now. It was, it was dead in here five minutes ago, wasn't it? There you go. How's your food, Charlotte? Oh, God. I'll tell you what, them garlic knots are fantastic, aren't they? Really nice. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I think everyone's coming from the water park. Well, I'll tell you what, the restaurant may not have been up to much, but the food was absolutely delicious, wasn't it? Oh, I really enjoyed that. The garlic knots are so nice. And yeah, we've come back outside, sun shining, storm stops, and rides are testing. Fantastic. So that was good timing Let's for lunch. Yeah, hopefully you've got uh, Looney Tunes Movie Town over here. Oh, I used to love watching Looney Tunes when I was a kid. Did you ever watch it or not, Charlotte? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There's Bugs Bunny just up there. He actually walked past when I was having my pizza. But yeah, this... a little wave. <laughs> he did, yeah. He was out in the storm, wasn't he? But yeah, it's not rained or anything like that, hence why the, uh, the ground isn't the wet. The sky is so dark. It though. is. It could come in again, but that's the thing. You know, safety is always paramount, especially with lightning. And we know that from our drive last night that you can see over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Yeah, look at this around here. I mean, we've got the Great Chase, little junior coaster over here. We might just wait around, see if that starts testing. And yeah, we'll see what happens. There's no other rides that are indoors here. There's no dark rides. Like, they literally announced that every ride is closed when a storm comes in. Got a little train ride just down here. 
I tell you what, it's very well themed. You know what it reminds me of around here a little bit? Mickey's Toontown at the Disney parks. With all the different colours and like the big set pieces. Yeah, it does. Yeah, just the building style. Obviously not as well looked after and maintained. But, We've got a pie um, contest. There we go. A pie eating contest. 12.45. Right. Pie eating contest. Oh, I don't think I could eat a pie after all that. There we go. What's that? The Looney Tunes prop warehouse. The play area, is it? Oh yeah, big indoor play area for the kids down there. Aaron De Development, home of future expansion just down here. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Well, you've heard of Around the World in 80 Days. How about Around the World in 80 Seconds just up there? There you go. <laughs> and yeah, we're going into the Mardi Gras themed area now. So I did just ask a member of staff what's kind of happening now, because we saw a few rides testing. She said that a few of the smaller rides will start testing first. They'll aim to get them open and then bigger stuff like coasters. So we'll see. I don't see. want to build people's hopes of if they have to close them again. Yeah, I think that's quite understandable, to be honest, yeah. actually. Instead of just like testing all the coasters and then a storm just coming in straight away, waiting a little bit. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, this is the Mardi Gras themed area. What's interesting is the drop tower is Mardi Gras themed as well. You can see like, the yellow, green and purple on there. It's called Voodoo Drop. Got some theme music playing around here. Raging Cajun over there, which is a spinning coaster. Obviously that's closed at the moment. I don't know if that was closed before the storm or not. It was open earlier, I saw it going round. Ah, there you go. So hopefully we'll get that. The wooden coaster up here, we've not seen that operating all day. So I'm not too sure with that one. Same as Superman. It's quite a nice uh, themed bar area. Hurricanes, yeah, permanent Mardi Gras themed area. Got some upcharged go-karts just over here. They're testing again now. Single cart, $12, all season, $39.99, plus tax, I'd imagine. <laughs> and yeah, here's a look at Wild One, which is the wooden coaster. We've not seen this going all day. However, there's some staff up on the station now, so maybe when the storm clears, if the storm clears, this will be open. Just around the corner here, we've got Zadeco Zinga, I think it's called. Yeah, Mardi Gras themed, of course, still in this area. Yeah, this will be closed until further notice. Yeah, it's clear that not much love and care really goes into this park. I mean, obviously, that isn't just closed because of the storm. Um, that's just closed until further notice. Yeah, really interesting. We did see these other flats going around, though, earlier on, prior to the storm. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, there's no staff about at any of these. Same with the interim drop tower just over there, too. So yeah, I'm really not too sure what's going to happen. We'll just have to find out. It could be a vlogger just walking around looking at bits now. Well, we've had still no further updates or announcements, but yeah, some of the smaller flats are open. So we've got on Pirates Flight over here. We may as well, it's open. It's better than just standing around. Basically, Flying Dutchman from Drayton Manor back in the UK. The good fun those are, but I've got one problem with them, and that's right at the end. As soon as they lower back down onto the floor, they just bash straight down, well, don't sure they? I'm sure there's a better way of doing that instead of just bashing <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, all those sort of rides do it that are like that. And uh, yeah, literally the boat just whacks onto the floor. Really, it could do with some padding just underneath, yeah, it couldn't it? Yeah, it needs some padding to sort of soften the blow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they do that, but uh, here we go. No other action yet, but we'll see what happens. Well, we've got some good news. It looks like they've been given the all clear to start opening the coasters. Uh, yeah, Joker has just reopened. So we're making our way down to the back, have another look down at Superman, see if there's any updates. And of course, we've got that horrible Vekoma Flying Dutchman down here as well. We're going to see if there's any activity. The uh, lift hill has also just come on for the Woody as well. There it goes again. Very impressive to look at. All that mess of track. In a weird way, it reminds me of the Smiler, you know, just seeing all that track together. And there's something else that reminds me of something back home over here too. And that's this ride over here. Looks very similar to Storm so it's the exact same colour scheme, the same layout. But there's one big difference with this one. It's actually got some theming on the top. So Storm Surge at Thorpe Park back in the UK has actually got that metal structure at the top of the lift. Where it doesn't have anything on there. This one's got a water tower. Here we go, Starflyers testing. Oh yes. Let's go and see if we've got any action down here. I doubt it though, there's people walking back. Wonder Woman, last hour of truth just here. Right then, so I've got some good news. We're down here at Superman Ride of Steel. Of course, we've not seen this ride testing or anything since we got to the park. However, there's some staff over there and a manager did just say that they are planning to open this attraction this afternoon. Obviously, that is weather dependent, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we've got the Vekoma Flying Dutchman down there at the back, um, Batwing, which has also started testing. So we're just going to wait around and see if we can get on that. I'm just really pleased that we're seeing more rides open now because, yeah, we thought our day could be coming to an end there. But no, like uh, we're making our way down here now to Batwing. I think we're going to be the only ones on it, Charlotte, at this rate. Oh, great. The, <laughs> the ladies just come. 
and move the signs. Yeah, we're the first people coming down here. This opened here in 2001. Yeah, the Coma Flying Dutchman. Uh, really don't like these rides. We did one at Carowinds, but we need to get the credits. Obviously, I've never been here before, uh, so we'll give it a go. Cutting the lawn just over here. I'd love to go on one of them ride on Ride on mower. mower. That'd be nice, that, wouldn't it? Mm. There we go. Well, if the other rides are home, maybe we'll ask. Uh, let's go and uh, have our ride on here. Not the lawnmower, the coaster. That does look quite fun though. ride there on Batwing and I tell you what, those rides are awful, oh, aren't they? they are just absolutely horrible. I can see why there's not many of those about. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to buy one of them for your park, would Definitely you? Definitely not. Uh, they're just, you know, it's one of them that the ride experience on there is just not enjoyable at all. Obviously, you tilt backwards in the station, so you're on your back, you got the lift all backwards, and then you go from that line to fly position via the inversion. And then at the end, of course, you go back into that lie down position um, through an inversion and yeah, onto the brake run. Luckily, it's only running one train, so that means we're not stack on the brake run. Yeah, because this one hasn't got a cover on the brake run, so you just be exposed to the heat. I don't even know if it's got a second train yeah, anymore. I, I can't know. see one anywhere. But uh, yeah, really not great rides those, no, are they? I just really don't like yeah, them. Yeah, they could be up there, you know, as my least favourite coaster types. They're just rotten. Yeah, absolutely awful they are. And yeah, you got a top speed of 50 miles an hour on there and with five inversions. Yeah, really not a fun experience. They are quite intense and I like my intense coasters, but yeah, it's not really intense in a good way. Batwing, here at Six Flags America. I am very grateful though that at least the weather's picked up a bit now. I just really hope we get Superman. That is the main ride, the main draw for this park. So hopefully we get it, but still, we'll go around and get some other bits in and we'll keep our eyes peeled. We're waiting for that lift to start. That's what we want. Now also, whilst we were down there on Batwing, I've got a sneaky suspicion. I mean, there's no confirmation of this at all, but maybe I'm thinking, could Superman riders still be closed whilst they're cutting the grass? I know it sounds silly, but if they're in the ride area, um, then maybe that's why it's closed. I mean, that should be done after um, the park's closed, really, or on a morning, but obviously all this has been done down here. It is in the ride area. Uh, and they said it may open later, so that would maybe add up, wouldn't it? Cheeky if so that. Yeah, I mean, they shouldn't be doing that, but that possibly could be what's happening because the train's up there, there's no maintenance working on it or anything. Um, all there is are these cutting the grass around here and they've done all this, so maybe that's why. But we'll see what happens. Well, we decided to go and get a nice breeze on Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. Of course, the star fly down here, and yeah, got some fantastic views of the park and the surrounding area. Not very built up around this park, lots of trees, all the forests around. And I'll tell you what we did also see whilst we were up there, an abandoned full area of the park. And I've just done a bit of research. They used to have an area here called Thomas Town, was featured at five of the Six Flags parks. And yeah, there was a Thomas Town here, right on the back of where the Joker is here. And yeah, we saw it all abandoned, didn't we? Yeah. No, just completely left. It looked to me though like the Thomas theme had been took off there a while ago. Maybe the IP had ended and they didn't want to renew it. Yeah, I think it probably operated for a bit without that, without the Thomas branding. And, it really and then it's out, yeah, and it's just not open since. But yeah, it was a massive area. There was a drop tower, a Ferris wheel, a train ride, um, loads, literally the size of the all around the back. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. We don't have much of that this trip. That's the thing in America, everyone's used to seeing vloggers, aren't they? You know, it's just the norm over here. So, so you don't get it as much the interactions, you know. But um, yeah, massive area of the park all the way down the back. And we had a look and it's got a big fence up uh, on the pathway leading down to it. Nothing to see here. Yeah, nothing to see. Mothballed, as we would say, mothballed. And yeah, as you can see from the map, it's also been erased from existence. Yeah, it would have been in this area just here. It looks like it had access over here and also access here too. And yeah, we didn't notice it earlier when we walked past. You think it was just the end of the park, but here you go. This is where the path has been blocked. And here you can see there's a big play area down there. It's a massive area, pretty much runs all the way up. To Superman Rider Steel. Fascinating. I love just seeing things like that, you know, and find it really interesting. There you go, full themed area down there for families, completely closed up. 
This park is also home to Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, a massive pendulum ride. So you're hoping to get on that today. I mean, the wooden character looks like it's open. So then we're gonna go on there first. But yeah, look at that, huge ride. And yeah, you've also got the Batmobile just down here too, fantastic. Looks like the storm could be coming in again though, so we'll see what happens. Oh, and here's a look down at the very moody sky with Wild One, the wooden roller coaster. It could do with a painter, but a bit of TLC, this one. In fact, when we walked in, we thought, is it SBNO? Like, I looked on the roller coaster database and it said that it was operating. Well, yeah, like, it looks in really bad state with all the paintwork on there. Look at the cloud coming in behind it. I don't think we've got long to get on this, but we'll head round and try and get a ride on Wild One. Got a fascinating history. It's actually been relocated, this coaster. It's been here since the 80s, and it used to be at another park. Fascinating. Let's have a look. It's pumping. So the ride's operated here since 1986. Charles loving the tunes. Well, yeah, as you can see, it dates back to 1917, the Wild One. Woo! We've got the tunes pumping in the Mardi Gras area. Hey! <laughs> this is an ultimate day. I like a trip here to the USA, I can't believe it, but uh, what a trip it's been, what an adventure, is it? Drinks, refills. <laughs> I tell you what though, we've had our money's worth out of the passes with the parking, with the admission, with the drinks, like, fantastic. If you're doing multiple Cedar Fair or Six Flags parks, get yourself the passes. And there you go, there's an old picture of the coaster just there, fantastic. Love a ride with history, let's see how it rides. And in 1997, the track was reprofiled to allow the installation of the Typhoon Sea Coaster. Really interesting. There you go, another picture. Good looking. All clear, please, that to be more of a rough one than a wild one however you know what that was my favorite coaster at the park that rode really good i was great because i wasn't sure i was going to ride but that rode really well i'm quite surprised yeah i can't believe it. there's some really good drops some lateral forces on there as well like pushed into the sides i thought that was fantastic no real airtime on there but it didn't need it. it had some good speed the pacing was nice a long ride out and back layout across the other side and back again and you know what it was a really enjoyable wooden coaster what a classic like that was my favorite ride of the day yeah, that was really good can't believe it yeah brilliant ride we even when we got into the station we thought let's go in a middle row um so we're not on a wheel seat you know because obviously it'd be a bit smoother and yeah that probably helped it had all nice padding as well in the seats um yeah that was a really good ride i enjoyed that well it's almost two o'clock and yeah that's when originally it said that storms were going to come in when we checked the weather app but yeah it's looking all right again now so we're doing pretty well i'm pleased i thought today could have been a write-off but we're getting round and yeah it's cajun time now but not for time for the chicken it's a rubbish and spinning coaster Raging Cajun just here. This is another one that used to actually be located at Six Flags Great America and then was relocated to Six Flags America. There we go, you're getting the hang of that now. <laughs> I'm certainly not. Oh yeah, here it is. Owned at this park in 2014. Standard rubbish and spinning coaster, nothing special. Yeah, it's here in the Mardi Gras area, hence the colour scheme. Rage and Cajun, done so many of them rubbish and spinners now over the years. And yeah, it always makes me laugh with the little bunny hill down there at the end. And i tell you what, when we was up there, you could see Superman. I said to Charlotte, you're going to do your usual thing. I, what do you do? It's testing, it's testing. And then we got off to the platform. I was like, sure, it's testing. He was like, no, it's not. I was like, yes, yeah. actually. So I was joking, saying, oh, Charlotte, you're going to be winding me up saying it's testing. Uh, then it no, actually I was after. I couldn't believe it. Let's so yeah, go. it's going up the lift. Let's make our way down. I am positive it was shut because they were cutting the grass, you know. There was no maintenance round or Don't anything. Know. Grass is finished. It looked like they were wrapping up, what, 45 minutes ago? This is crazy. In terms of other coasters, we've just got one of the junior coasters to get. Um, but yeah, we'll head down there now. We're going to straight to the back of the park. Storm could come in again at any minute. Like This could be our one chance of getting on it if we do. I hope so. Superman, ride of steel. Here we go. I didn't think I'd be running for a 23-year-old Intamin mega coaster. But here we are, it's literally just open and it's a battle against time. Because look at this, the storm's coming in. There we go, it's literally, that's the first loaded train. 
everybody in. We really want to get this. They're finished cutting the lawn. The storm could come in at any time. <laughs> Let's hope we can get at least one ride on this. Would be great. I'm just so happy that it's open. He wants to be in the vlog. Whee! FIFA Worldwide on YouTube twice in one day. Let's go. Right then, we're down here in the air gates. Looks like we're going to be the second operating train of the day. Oh, I'm excited for this. I really want to get this today. Let's ride. We've managed to get two rides on that coaster, one near the back, one near the front. Superman Ride of Steel, fantastic coaster that is. And yeah, it's 205 foot with the drop. And of course, you've got loads of airtime hills, two massive helixes on there as well. What a brilliant ride. That was absolutely fantastic. Like the layout was so long, it just goes so far back. Yeah, it does. When you're up the lifter, you see a massive helix over in the distance. And you think, is that part of this ride? And of course it is. You do that massive drop, and then of course, turn all the way down into the forest. And the helix is huge, isn't it? Massive. All the way around. And it's like a grey out moment on there. It does. That was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed that. You got some air time hills the camelbacks on there where you do get some great falls i actually think you get more airtime towards the front of the train on superman there um because you really pushed into the hills but it's very smooth especially for a 23 year old coaster you would not say it was 23 years old oh for an old school intermin one of the best i do really like their coasters i mean i love intermin anyway but this is like an old school coaster it has got um some straight sections on there but you still feel the speed on there um which is fantastic that was very much a thing of intermin at that time era though like look at millennium force at cedar point um an intermin coast obviously that's a giga uh, but that's got some straight sections as well but i think this is a great ride personally i think it's a better ride than millennium force but, oh yeah um, i was a massive fan of millennium force yeah <laughs> i mean you, you get a lot of force on here the first drop was fantastic just goes to show it's not all about height and speed this is a great ride the airtime the two massive helixes that it's got fantastic coaster and oh, we managed to get two goes on there as well and I feel like that was perfect timing as well because look at the clouds and the storm. Looks like it could be coming in again. But well, let's just get two rides on there. Any more is a bonus. We ended up getting a lot more done here than I was expecting this morning. I thought our day was coming to an end earlier and it hasn't done, which I'm really pleased about. Um, yeah, I also just wanted to say all the grass have been cut down the back end uh, where the helixes were. So even though the part won't confirm that, because I did ask again, uh, that's definitely why it was closed. They were cutting the grass, weren't they? 100%, because it was in the ride area. Yeah, I mean, really, they shouldn't have been cutting the grass during operating park hours. Hours, it's a bit but funny now that they've gone and the ride's opened. Yeah, because there was no testing or anything going on, there was no maintenance. That's what was going on, but still, yeah, it opened up, which is the main thing. It's quiet, we've had a couple of rides, I'm pleased about that, even though really that work should have been done um, out of operating hours. And the only exception to that would have been if maybe it was growing that high and it was causing sort of issues blocking the track, but which could have possibly been the case, however, I highly doubt it. More like the gardeners have been off over the weekend and it needed doing. 
30 days we are into our road trip and look at the energy that Charlotte's got over her. She likes to move it, move it. Part number 24 of 25. She's moving it to our final coaster cred. Oh, a very different carousel there. It looks a bit budget, doesn't it? Like with the roof and everything on there. There you go, a bit different with the animals. You got her camels on there. Donkeys. All sorts, giraffes. Oh, there we go. Established 1982. And yeah, around here now to our final coaster. I can't believe we're getting all eight operational coasters. <laughs> was not expecting it. I really thought our day was going to come to an end. I have been pretty impressed with the Six Flags parks, to be honest, that we've done. I do feel like in the four years since I last did a lot of Six Flags parks, um, they have made some improvements to operations. And nothing to shout about in this park, but still, you know, back in the day, I feel like they would have just closed, you know, if they thought the weather was coming in. But no, they stayed open. They uh, rode out the little bit of storm we had earlier, and we're back in action. Yeah, great chase. Just a little Zamperla family coaster with some very 2D theming just over here. Well, there we go. It's like a miracle happened for us today, but we managed to get on all eight coasters here. Yippee! I was not expecting that at no, all. I'm really pleased. We didn't even know if this park was going to open based on the storm no, last but night. Look at the sky now. Oh, here we go. I tell you what, Dan, please, especially with Superman. But yeah, there we go. A Six Flags day. And there's the Six Flags right there. <laughs> Gonna say, this is open just over here. Not the car ride. Hey, they're just absolutely empty, but they're open. And yeah, they're not electric powered, gasoline powered, these. Where are you taking us to, Charlotte? We're going to Walgreens. Walgreens. Welcome to Walgreens. Welcome to Walgreens. <laughs> nice little tour around. They were the only ones on the whole thing. I don't know where we're going here. Over some sort of bridge. Around towards the car park. It's going very, very dark. So dark. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why it's just ran past us here. Some sort of animal. Like, it looked like a squirrel, but it was black. Can you get black squirrels? I don't know. It's literally oh. came around the back of the tree there. What was that? I don't have a clue. There's the car park. Bugs I Bunny. it was a rat. No, it definitely wasn't a rat. It didn't have a big enough tail to be a rat. Rat. Ratatouille. I can't believe how quiet some of these parks have been though for us this trip. We've not had to queue much at all this trip, have we? So like, we really have 24 theme parks and we've hardly waited for rides. Like, we've done really, really well. I'd say the busiest theme park was probably Hershey Park. Yeah. I'd say out of everything that we've done. But that feels like a long time ago now. Well, it was really. One of the first parks we did, Hershey. Where are we going here? Oh, all the way around there. And we kind of loop back around. I do like how it's still gasoline powered. I mean, one day everything's going to be all electric powered. So you've got to make the most of these. That's like the back of all the entrance buildings to the park there. This storm is coming in again any minute. You can feel it in the air. It's got a bit cooler, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, humidity's really dropped now. <laughs> Gotta stop raining men. Oh, it's raining men. Woo! Hallelujah, it's raining men. Woo! <laughs> Where are you taking me here, Charlotte? I told you we're going to Walgreens. All the way down here, we're in the forest. Look at this, all this bamboo down the side. It's a good long car ride, this one. Really nice attraction that was. I'm sure one day it'll be electric, but yeah, you gotta make the most of these classics. You got the flying carousel just over there, which is actually a way swinger. Next door to the Grand Theatre. Yeah, showtime's two and five o'clock. Yeah, we're back down here near the entrance of the park now. We've got a scrambler just over there. There is a Vacoma SLC here, but yeah, it's actually SBNO now, which I'm really pleased about. Our second SBNO SLC of the trip. Yes. Yeah, pending removal. That's what we like to see. So we're having a bit of a stroll around the side of the park, closest to the water park. That's located through the trees over there. Yeah, just notice this, what looks to be like an old queue line, an exit ramp. And yeah, some foundations down there. Possibly a flat ride used to be there. And it says here, coming in 2024, area under development with a picture of that wheel. I believe that is the wheel that is in the old Thomastown area that I saw when we was on the Star Flyer. So maybe they're going to relocate that down here, closer to the park entrance. Yeah, and there's a look at Cyclone, which is your classic scrambler ride just over there too. You can really get the vibe walking around this park that it had its heyday a long time ago. Like, look at this over here, big kind of Wild West show venue. And yeah, you can see it's pretty much abandoned. It just says shows returning this fall for Fright Fest, of course, the Halloween events. Well, yeah, really interesting. You can imagine how back in the day, this park probably used to be pumping and yeah, like, had all these shows and themed entertainments. And yeah, they've not got much of that now. Oh, this makes me really sad. Look at this whole Wild West area down here. 
all the buildings and yeah that looks fantastic down there probably the best themed area of the park and the whole area is blocked off and yeah this is for 2023 because the slc is down there and of course that's been SBNO only since the start of this year uh, probably last operated at the end of last season yeah the coma slc called well. minor are you joking oh this is really sad oh there is a full area let's get a closer look down here by the fence that's really sad i mean you can tell this park is you know it, it's struggling but obviously because it's owned by six flags you know it is getting just the bare minimum finances to keep operating you can tell look at this a whole area that wild west area looks probably the best themed part of the park yeah break dance off to the left what a shame I don't know if that's going to come back or not, but yeah, look at that. That's really sad to see, isn't it? Uh, like just left to be abandoned. Yeah, it really is. And there's another ride that's closed over here. And right opposite, I don't know when this last operated, but you've got Shipwreck Falls over here, which is a flume ride with the drop just over there. And yeah, it says Dare the Rapids at Shipwreck Falls. Yeah, oh, Lightning. Yeah, all coasts have closed again now. There's a few flats open. But yeah, look at that. Another one all just mothballed. Oh. The weather with strong lightning are approaching the Six Flags America area. For your safety, most ride attractions will temporarily close and will reopen as soon as safe weather permits. Please enjoy our many indoor shows, games, and retail locations while we await the weather to pass. All ride attractions will reopen as soon as safe conditions permit. Thank you. Well, you just heard the announcement there, played over the park's PA system. Yeah, everything is now closed uh, in the park due to the approaching storm. Yeah, we've just seen some big flashes of lightning. We've also checked the weather forecast for the afternoon. I mean, it's four o'clock now, there's three hours left till park close. And uh, yeah, it's not looking good really for the rest of the day. Now, of course, we've got all the coasters in. Uh, we've got some other rides in. We've seen the major bits. There's no dark rides or anything like that to get in at this park. Um, so yeah, we've called it. And we're gonna uh, end our day here, aren't we, Charlotte? We've done a lot more than we thought we would, so it's best to just call it a day. Yeah, I mean, we've had a couple of rides on Superman as well. We've done loads and the rain's starting to come in. Yeah, I mean, earlier on, we thought we weren't gonna get hardly anything. Yeah, we wasn't, so we have done really well. We have, and the park is still remaining open at this stage. A lot of people are leaving. I think they've closed the water park um, as well now. And they may possibly close the park early, but you know what? If we hadn't got all the coasters in, or if there was anything we really wanted to get, uh, we would have stuck about and just waited to see um, if the ride's open again. But you know what? You can tell the rain is literally just starting to pick up right this second. Um, yeah, a lot of people are starting to leave. I think I think it's a good time to call it. We've done the coasters. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's get undercover. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're calling it. It's a good time to wrap up this vlog. Yeah, and with how black that sky is looking, it's coming down pretty heavy now. I think that's the perfect time for us to end our day at Six Flags America. But you know what? I'm glad we came to this park to come and see it. It's not somewhere that I rush back to. However, we've been here, we got on Superman, we've done the other bits, we've got all eight coasters. And yeah, this entrance street is really nice down here. It'd look better if the sun was shining. But yeah, I think this park is probably gonna close anytime soon. <laughs> It's absolutely hammering it down outside now. So we're just gonna hang out in the gift shop for a little bit uh, and just hope that it lets up a bit before we go out to the car. Be able to start to show you this picture up here, look at the fire effect. See, and of course that's now the flawless coaster, but that's when it was a stand up, as you can see there from the train design. And it looks like there was a huge fire effect on there in the past too. They do some good merch at the Six Flags parks. If you like it, ride it. Six Flags America, $17.99. As you can see, with lots of the rides on. Got the jacket just there too, a bit basic that one, as we can see. All these vests, a lot of vests in the American parks. All these hoodies and t-shirts down here at the back too. It's quite a nice design. These ones just over here, got all your shorts, the matching shorts. Oh God, it needs a bit of a tidy up down here. <laughs> Maybe the replenishing the stock looks like it. Yeah, loads of stuff. I like all these pictures. Oh, it is pouring it down out there now. She's loving that water slide up there. <laughs> Some great shots. That's a fantastic picture there of Superman Rider Steel. I do like how they've just left the track colour and the supports and the train and then the rest of it's a black and white photo, like all the trees around. Fantastic. But wait a 
the shop for about 15 minutes there and yeah the rain's just about starting to stop so we're going to make a break for the car in just a moment but yeah that wraps up our first ever visits here to Six Flags America and yeah I'm really pleased with how today ended up we're getting all the rides we've done so much but I do feel like the park needs a little bit of work oh yeah I think it needs more than a little <laughs> bit like it was really sad seeing that wild west area all closed I was actually just chatting with a fan of the channel in the shop and yeah he was giving me a bit more information so you got the break dance down there there was a dodgems oh listen to oh. that there was a rapids down there as well I thought I saw one from one of the other rides but yeah all closed up a wild west saloon down there with entertainment that whole area is closed up but he heard it may reopen next year so we'll see what happens it's with that it's really such a shame to have such a big area just closed off and there's quite a few areas of the park here that need some major TLC but he was telling me that like you see all these trees and planters behind they're all new for this year a lot of all the benches I've seen like loads of nice ones with the logo on um, so they're clearly you know invested into the park still they're not giving up but yeah there's a long way to go until that this is on to the level of some other Six Flags parks we've done it's been the weakest one of the trip I hasn't it I think it's one of them maybe they're working area and area at a time possibly so but uh, there we go in terms of Superman Rider Steel though it's a fantastic ride I'd recommend coming to this park to give that ride a go it's brilliant uh, and yeah of course they got one up at uh, New England as well um, similar but not the same but uh, yeah fantastic that I'm was I'm so glad that we managed to get on it the Woody was great today as yeah, well yeah that was really good yeah fantastic not the first one the second one was, yeah, uh, that was great <laughs> Yeah, fantastic ride though that was. Really enjoyed getting on it. And uh, it looked terrible from off ride, but it rode really it good. good. Uh, along with that, we just had a nice day. We got some flat rides in. We got the classic cars in there. Uh, we got all eight coaster credits. It's not somewhere that I rush back to. However, hopefully they can make the improvements needed in the future and to uh, get this park back onto a better level. I think it's better days for a long time ago. But hopefully, oh, it's getting bad again. <laughs> hopefully they can uh, get that sorted out. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this vlog up. We're going to head back to the car. And uh, we've got one more vlog coming up from this trip. I can't believe it. Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, I can't believe it's the last one. Oh, neither can I. We're going to get soaked now walking back. I can feel it right yeah. here. Uh, well, there we go. From our first ever visit to Six Flags America, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you tomorrow.